Right, hi everyone, welcome back to MCM Outdoors. When you see me sat at this table, it normally means one thing. There's either a, a review or a demonstration coming up. And in this video, it's going to be a review of these water bottles, which were kindly sent to me by a company called Super Sparrow. And uh, I'm going to give you an honest review. Just a little disclaimer, when people send me things, I'm not obliged to give a positive review. It's always honest. If something doesn't work as well as it's supposed to, or if there's anything which I don't particularly like about a product, then I'll say it. I'm under no obligation whatsoever to give a positive review. It's just honest. Um, yeah, so we've been in lockdown, I've been out for a while, so I've used these on some limited occasions, and after this video, we're at the conclusion of it, the latter half of the video, I'm going to take it outside because we've got some really cold weather. We're going to fire up a kettle of boiling water, make a coffee and put it in one of these and see how long in the very cold weather outside it stays hot or warm for. So yeah, the company is Super Sparrow. As with all my review videos, we'll look at them in a lot more detail after we've finished talking about them. I'll quickly whiz through all the features and the benefits of the bottles. But um, you've probably seen other um, branded alternatives, uh, Hydro Flask being one of them. They're very, very expensive. Uh, they're not cheap at all. Um, and these, I believe, are a more budget-friendly alternative without sacrificing any quality. Um, and I'll show you that. But basically, there's different designs, uh, different size miles, but, you know, like I say, we'll look at it in a bit more detail but they're very, very similar in design to the Hydro Flask version. They are powder coated. They've got this really high quality powder coated finish. They come in a wide variety of colors. And there's this flexible loop handle on the top, which can be clipped you know, onto a carabiner. It's really flexible. Uh, they just rotate on this little bit of a hinge here and it, they're easy for carrying. They're not light. They are not meant for lightweight camping. Um, they'd be great for, you know, even if you're not going out camping, uh, just take them with you on a day out, picnic, bike ride, shove them into, a, into your rucksack, um, go in the gym, you know, whatever else you would use uh, water bottles or uh, vacuum flasks for. But yeah, first of all, you know, I thought, well, they're a little, lot more cheaper than the, the branded Hydro Flask version, so are they going to be as good? And I can tell you, and you'll see that hopefully when we look at it a bit closer, the quality is very good. The finish of them is brilliant. Um, so, a couple of the features and benefits. They are, and I've made some notes here, uh, the BPA free, and which obviously means they're nice and safe. Um, you know, you're not getting any contaminants into you when you're drinking from them. They are made of pro grade stainless steel. Um, so food grade, the best grade of stainless steel you can get. And um, they contain, well, it's, it's, it's an insulated double walled vessel, okay? So it's gonna keep hot liquids hot or very warm for up to 12 hours. And uh, cold liquids, cool, cold for up to 24 hours. Now they use, um, basically there's like an insulated technology in the lid. It's called uh, lock temp technology. And in the actual lid here, and we'll have a little closer look, like I say, um, that is actually insulated portion of the lid, so it's not losing any heat from there either. And they're just really nice. They're well made. Uh, they come in a wide array of colours. And uh, they're pretty stylish as well, because, you know, people like how things look as well. It's not just function. Granted, things have got to work as advertised, but, you know, people like things that look good. And these, I'm sure you'll agree, they look really nice as well. Um, so yeah, in addition to uh, what I've just mentioned, Super Sparrow also offer a limited lifetime warranty. Obviously they're not gonna cover things like, you know, dents and scratches. If you're dropping them around, they're not gonna be immune to that. But, um, you know, I'm sure you probably agree. When you're using things, the more battered and uh, worn they look, you know, they're, they're picking up battle scars on your adventures, aren't they? And they're even more personalized to you. So they come in a different, uh, a wide array of sizes. This particular one is 750 mil, which weighs 436 grams. Yeah, okay, it is not meant for lightweight wild camping. It's not marketed at that, I'm just letting you know the weight. But they're available on Amazon. I'll leave some links below this video. They're not affiliate links, they're just standard links uh, to the products, the most up-to-date links you can find. 
This particular one is currently selling for £15.49. If you compare that with Hydro Flask, it's a lot cheaper. So that is that nice one in black. Like I say, there's pretty much every colour you can think of. Now this massive one is a thousand mil. It's a, it looks like a diving cylinder. It's absolutely massive. You get loads of different things and accessories in this one. But again, we'll have a little closer look. But this one, and I'm not sure if you can get this particular version anymore. You can get the same size, but I'm not sure where they can get the carrying pouch. Comes with this lovely um, like neoprene sleeve uh, with a carrying loop on it and go over your shoulder. And there's a couple of different types of stoppers. I've got the natural wood version on this at the moment. Uh, it's got a nice metallic loop. Just again, you know, you could hook it onto things, pass straps uh, in your rucksack through it. Just make sure it's not going to go anywhere. But you know, arguably, you're not going to need to do that because you've got this carrying loop. But we take it out this neoprene sleeve, it just snugly fits in there, and that's a nice little touch. Again, this is a thousand millilitres, same sort of technology, it's uh, it's double walled and insulated, and again, similar sort of temps, keeps hot liquids hot for up to 12 hours, cool liquids cool for up to 24 hours. You get a sports cap also, with a little bit of a twist up thing, again, don't worry, I'll show you close up in a second. Uh, so yeah, this is like a sports cap for drinking. When you want to drink from it, just rotate that into the vertical position. And um, when you want to lock it down, it stops it leaking, just push it flush with the top of the bottle. This one also comes with a few more accessories. I've got a, a brush for cleaning, got these two straws for drinking out of the flask. You know, put a pina colada in there and you'll be able to share it, the pair of you, because um, there's two straws. And we've got this bit of a cleaning brush here, just to make sure that any detritus, any gunk and grime, as you're using it, um, you can get them straws nicely cleaned. Comes with a carabiner. Again, just do with that whatever you want. Use it to fasten onto your, uh, your belt, your rucksack, um, your imagination, whatever you want to do with it, it's entirely up to you. But I like this, I like the wooden top, it looks really good, they're very stylish, uh, very stylish. So yeah, we've got two different things, we've got a thousand milliliter bottle, with the different tops on including the sports cap, and we've got the double insulated flask, uh, the 750ml. While she's got the 500ml one, he's used that on a couple of walks in the Peak District, and uh, he enjoys using his, so uh, again, thank you very much for sending me these and giving me the opportunity to test them out. Always on the market, I'm always on the lookout for um, products which are good value, um, and good value doesn't just mean price, means longevity, um, means that things are going to last, you know, if you're not replacing it every 12 months, 6, 12, 18 months, if they're going to last you, you're buying less than it's kind of for the environment, it's also kind of to your bank balance as well. After we've had a closer look at them, I'm going to get the Coleman stove out in the back garden. It's very, very cold out there today, just hovering around zero, and there's a light dust and a snow on the ground. We're going to get a, a kettle of water boiled up, put that into the, uh, the flask, make it coffee, and we're going to see how long in those temperatures out there. It stays warm for roughly. I'm not going to sit out there for 12 hours, that's just not practicable, but you know, if you're on a, a standard walk, I mean, again, sort of local lockdown walks, this might appeal to people for those kind of shorter walks. You know, you want to go out, nice walk, uh, you know, you're out for an hour, half an hour, something like that. Take a nice coffee with you. It'll be warm. You can have your brew sort of halfway around. And it's a bit more stylish than a typical thermos flask, I think. So, yeah, thank you very much, Super Sparrow. They are cracking quality. You're going to see that now. I'm going to give you a closer look. Hi folks, so we'll just go over them in a little bit more detail, just in terms of the larger bottle, just for the time being. If you have a look at it here, it's got this lovely neoprene sleeve, which protects the finish of the bottle. I've got the sports cap in at the moment, and um, just to drink from it, just rotate that near vertical when you want to lock it off. Just push it back down again. I've obviously got the car carabiner on there, take that off do that whatever you want with it but there it's got the old uh, super sparrow logo bit of branding on there and some clips and this nice carrying strap you can of course swap out 
the tops. Got this nice wooden version, which looks really good, I'm sure you'll agree. This particular one, I would use this for cold drinks. You know, you could imagine a nice walk in the summer and um, just taking, you know, fill it with, I'll fill it with white wine, <laughs> pull a bottle of uh, your favorite plonk in there just to keep it cool, just out on a nice summer picnic for when we're all allowed out again. But I mean, you've got that nice little metallic loop just to put through anything to, uh, to stop it going walkies or falling out of your rucksack. Um, got these two straws again for drinking from if you want to do that and cleaning brush just to keep the straws nice. So that's what you get with the larger one and the small wide mouth insulated flask again got this metallic there we go that's how, uh, that's how shiny it is. It's got this really nice powder coated finish. It's not going to slip if you've got sweaty hands, you're out running. Again, um, it's just good quality. A bit of branding and detail on the bottom there. You've got this flexible carry handle, which rotates either way. It's great for holding like that. Again, putting straps from your rucksack through there, or it can just sit in the side pocket of your rucksack. If we have a little look, into the lid, this is the lid lock technology. That is basically a vacuum inside of there. Again, it's just reducing the surface area from which the contents have got the opportunity of losing heat. You can just about make out in the recess. It's a nice rubber seal, which stops your contents from leaking out. And it's obviously telling you there that it's BPA free. And this capsule is essentially insulated. Again, just looking at the finish, High quality, it's double walled, insulated, with a Super Sparrow brand in there. Don't forget they come with an absolutely wide array of different colours to colour, to suit all your tastes. Now they're not a lightweight bottle, that's one of the downsides. You know, they are heavy. Once that's full of water, it's obviously a lot heavier. Don't forget it weighs around a kilo a litre. Um, and then you're adding that onto the weight of the vessel itself. So if a uh, lightweight camping is your priority, I would suggest that you wouldn't even be looking at this type of bottle anyway. But for someone going to the gym, nice little walk to the local park, um, summer's picnic, you know, using the, the carrying straps there, these are absolutely great. They are much cheaper and arguably as such better value than the, the more well-known branded alternatives of Hydro Flask. I'm not just singling them out, but they are very expensive. Again, the stylish, good fit and finish, but again, so are these. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the back garden. We're gonna fire up the stove and we're gonna get a coffee in this one and see how long it stays warm. If you're interested in purchasing these, again, it's not an affiliate link, so I don't make anything from this video other than the fact that they were sent to me. Thank you very much for that. Um, but the links that I am leaving below, they're not affiliate in any way. They're just the most up-to-date version of the products that I can find on the internet at the moment. So let's get in the back garden. Oh, right folks, it is extremely cold, hence my attire. Really warm uh, jacket this. I'm getting sidetracked, but yeah, they don't make these anymore. With the flask, I've just put a uh, very hot uh, tap water in here, just to give it a bit of a start. And uh, I'm gonna get some water boiled up. Just got the kettle from the Trangia. And this Coleman, Coleman sports the stove, the uh, 533. So we're gonna get that fired up, get some water boiled, and we'll see in this absolutely bitingly cold weather, how well the flask does of keeping a coffee warm. When it vaporizes, these flames will go. As it's just starting to come up to temperature now, you can see, look at that.
I like mine quite strong. One. And that will do. Make sure it's firmly on. So here we go. So I let my coffee reasonably strong. Uh, there's obviously just the black coffee in there. But we've obviously got the hot liquid in. There's no leakage. Absolutely uh, watertight. I've seen some negative reviews on Amazon saying they leak. Um, I don't know what they're talking about to be honest because they don't leak at all. I often find that. I think people sometimes are paid to put on negative reviews of products. Or even worse, they just go on. Uh, for no reason whatsoever and give inaccurate uh, reviews for some strange reason but the flask doesn't leak so if you've got that inside a bag you don't have to worry about the contents spilling anywhere so temperature today is just a shade above zero um, the snow and ice has just melted off the grass as the sun has slowly heated the ground throughout the day but i guarantee it's absolutely freezing here today hence being dressed the way i am so uh, i'm just going to leave it here for a bit I'll bring you back you know I'll give it I'll give it an hour or so and uh, we'll see if the contents are still nice and warm it's all you want it's not going to be boiling hot you know you're never going to get that um, I've yet to find a flask that works so good and if there's any manufacturers out there that make flasks which keep your liquids ultra hot like from the kettle hot hours later I'd love to uh, know about your products and possibly you know give me a chance to test them because I will um, I've got an old trusty SIG thermos flask which is many years old it's absolutely massive I think it's possibly a litre one um, it's certainly no lightweight flask I took that well I've had it for years I, I must have had it for 10 or 15 years and um, I've been on Snowden in the winter months with that it was absolutely fantastic um, but you know it's so big and bulky it hasn't got features like this with the with the carrying loop you know even if you're just going on a walk around the block make yourself a lovely coffee in there you know you're out for half an hour you want it to be warm uh, you know sit down for a few minutes with a hot brew you've got this carrying loop um, you know with gloves on even mitts when i've got the dexterity in my fingers i can still carry it with mitts so even with standard gloves uh, it's that much better so i like it wide variety of colors every color you can think of you've pretty much got it so check out the links in the description box of this video and uh, thanks again super sparrow uh, thank you very much for sending me these and giving me the opportunity to test them right folks i've given that an hour that's about all the time i've got today uh, because i've got something else planned at the moment i've got things you need to do but an hour out here it's bolty the windshield it's minus three, minus four today. That's been whipping the wind around the outside of this metallic bottle. That does kill the heat. Anyone who's ever held a can of something cold or any metallic object on a cold day, the wind whips around it. It's got like a super chilling, super cooling effect. It's absolutely horrendous. So, you know, it's been pretty brutal conditions out here. You probably see maybe a couple of flakes of snow just dropping down now because it's just started to snow so it's absolutely baltic even the ends of my fingers just where they're exposed are going red so we're going to open this and uh, see the first good sign is a little bit of a hiss where the pressure slightly built up with the steam escaping into the chamber and there you go it's probably going to be too hot to drink I don't know if you can see, but the steam escaping from here. So that's a good sign. I'm going to bear my mouth live on camera. It is. It's too hot to drink. So it just touched my lips and that burns. Okay. It's only been an hour, but I've told you how cold it is out here today. Add on another hour, another couple of hours. There's not going to be any noticeable 
or a massive decrease. It's not going to suddenly be freezing cold when you open it. So if you're in the market, again, for a budget friendly, well made, stylish, really well finished, backed up with a decent warranty as well. They'll warrant the products, they believe in the products. Um, get yourself one of these, nice stylish water bottle. Thank you again. Thanks for watching the video and check out the links to these below in the description box. Right, I'll see you on the next one everyone and take care.